And I've just, now having glued these uh, three bits of the stem up together, I've got the cable in the middle through the hole to make sure that uh, I can still get the, the actual lamp cable through later, make sure no glue blocks up the hole. What I'm going to do is going to wrap a little pigtail on there, pull it through like that. That'll just help to get in all the corners through there and scrape any of the glue out. So back at the bench now, I've just clamped this in to run the groove for the cabling. I've just made a start with the plough plane. Uh, the cable needs to fit through the bottom of the base uh, through to where the tenon goes in. So I've set the plough plane up uh, with a wider fence on it now. I've just been taking a few passes through. Obviously I don't want to come this side so it's a bit tricky but it gets me started. And then what I'm doing is going to take a chisel and finish that off to depth with a chisel. And now my cable should fit on there. Once the base is stuck on, should still be able to move the cable a bit. Don't want to trap it in there. Now that's what I'm going to do is smooth this and get rid of the uh, all the mark out that's still left on there. Let's clamp it up again. Clear these things out of the way. And uh, Fine set smoother, just taking thin shavings out, removing those pencil marks. And leaving a lovely finish on there. Make sure the bottom's cleaned up nicely as well. Now I'm going to put some chamfers around the edges, top edges, and also the bottom edges actually, and uh, bevel the corners. And I'll clamp it between some clean pieces of MDF to protect that nice smooth finish. Pop it in the end vise. I'll plane the end grain on here as well. It'll end up cleaner than having shot it. So I'll just put the little bevel on the corners. So tighten that up in the end. And vice, um, because I've made that little groove in there for the cable, I've got nothing to back up when I'm playing it across here. So I'm just going to prepare this little block. in there.
and I can plane over the top and it, didn't, it shouldn't break out. Finally on the long grain, chamfers, a chance here to address those bevels in the corners from the other side, the other angle. Just to make sure they're nice and even. finish on the top. I'm disappointed there's a very slight gap in the glue line right at the end there but otherwise it's pretty good I think. Bottom's nice but that's going to get some bays over the over the bottom that'll hold the cable in and cover up the uh, the tenon and the edges nicely finished off End grain wants a little bit of sandpaper on it. And uh, next time we shall finish off the stem and uh, put it in. This has been the catch up video of the live stream. There was a slight technical hitch with a bit of the sound, but uh, hopefully we've sorted that out now. So that's all sorted. Um, I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. If not, um, then it will probably be Monday. But with the holiday season, just watch out. Make sure you're subscribed and you get notifications uh, when, I, when I do the next live stream. And it will be, or certainly should be, finishing off the lamp base. Um, if I can get the fitting for it, then I'll, I'll fit it. I'll say the one I've got has got a problem with the, uh, the actual threaded rod at the end. If I can get another one, I'll fit it. And then we'll be looking at a design for the actual shade. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.